Nubia is not as well known among Chinese smartphone manufacturers, but they have certainly brought consumers more affordable products over the years. I was expecting the Motorola X40 or Redmi K60 series to be the cheapest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 phones in the first quarter of 2023, but the phone I'm holding in my hand, the Nubia Z50, brings a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform to under $500 for the first time. So let's see if this better flagship phone to buy today. The Nubia Z series has a very consistent and recognizable design, and you can see some of the family elements from their latest flagship, such as the red circle around the main camera, the red power button, and the slim body. The Z50 is narrow in width than most regular flagship phones, and it always reminds me of the standard Samsung S series models, with a shorter width so you can feel more comfortable when holding it. To give you a better experience while gaming, they made the top and the ground of the phone a notch to reduce the pressure of middle frame on your fingers. The design of the camera module reflects Nubia's sincerity. As you can see, there are only two cameras here, and they didn't add a 2 megapixel macro lens to trick consumers, which not only makes the camera module more compact, but also saves more budget for consumers. This time, they finally put the Nubia logo in the center of the right rectangle, which makes the back cover look more coordinated and symmetrical. As a flexure phone for less than $500, the only complaint I can have about the design is that for some reason, they removed the sliding switch and you can no longer quickly switch between sound modes or launch the camera, which I think is definitely a hard change for fans to accept. The Nubia Z50 comes with a 6.67 inch AMOLED screen that has curved edges, but there are no noticeable artifacts when you view the screen from the side. Its resolution does not reach 2K, but the screen supports a maximum 144Hz refresh rate, so you can get a smooth experience in some of the supported games. Compared to other manufacturers, Nubia has a unique way of thinking about photography, as they never compete for larger sensors and seek co-engineered with the traditional camera brands. Starting with the Nubia Z40s Pro, they pioneered the use of 35mm main camera on the smartphones, and the Z50 continues this design with a new IMX787 sensor on this phone that still has a 35mm focal length. My assessment is that if those traditional 24mm lenses on smartphone makes everyone a documentarian, then 35mm lenses will make some users a more creative street photographer. Compared to wide-angle lens, 35mm lens allows you to focus more on your subject and get a nicer depth of field. This time, Nubia brings more artistic filters to the camera and you can even overlay different filters in street mode to create more unique photos. The Nubia Z50 also has a powerful ultra-wide angle camera, a 2-in-1 lens that supports a focal distance of up to 2cm, so you can use it as a macro lens, and the 50 megapixel ISO cell JN1 sensor can give you unbelievably rich detail in your macro photos. And in terms of video recording, both cameras support 8K recording. The Nubia Z50 is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform, and you may worry about its thermal design and gaming performance because of its low price, but the truth is that Nubia has done a good job of optimizing its performance. From these benchmarks, we can see that Z50 does not lag behind other Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 phones, and in Genshin Impact, the Nubia Z50 can achieve an amazing average frame rate of 60. Once you turn on rise mode from game space, the phone stays a peak performance, the only problem is that it's a little warmer when gaming than any other Snapdragon Agent Gen 2 phones I've tested before. The system UI is probably the biggest weakness of Nubia. Compared to other famous brands, MyOS is like a simple model with many features removed, such as no interactive photos on the homepage, photo albums don't support text extraction. In terms of visual design, MyOS doesn't have its own character either. It always makes me think I'm using MIUI. Look at this notification center and control center, and this planet wallpaper. I think even you are Xiaomi fan, it will take a little time to identify if it is MIUI or not. Although it is common in an industry to learn some good design from competitors, for Nubia, they really have a lot of basic features to improve and try to develop some practical features that are worth learning from other brands. The Nubia Z50 comes with a 5000 mAh battery and support 80 watts of wide charging. Considering that it weighs less than 200 grams, the absence of wireless charging is acceptable. Well, this is the Nubia Z50, the most affordable Snapdragon Agent 2 phone on the market, with great performance and an exceptional camera system, and a very simple and clean design. 
So if you care a lot about gaming and photography, it's probably the best flagship phone to buy. But if you're considering switching from Oppo or Xiaomi phone to this one, my advice is that you better learn more about the system UI. Some features you rely on may not be supported on this phone. Thanks for watching, I'm Will from Gizmo China. See you next time.